Hi there, this is Dino Redwell and welcome to a new Rack Media Tutorial. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to clean, optimize, and refresh your computer using CC Cleaner. Welcome back. So as we have seen in our last tutorial, we have uh, showed you how to uh, download and install the amazing software CC Cleaner, which is uh, specialized in optimization and system cleaning. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to use it uh, properly in order to refresh and uh, make your windows blazingly fast. So first of all, we need to head on to uh, the icon of the CC Clean if you have a shortcut into your uh, desktop or you just head on to your recycle bin, right click on it and here you have two options whether to run CC Cleaner in the background or to open it. Let's open it to show you how to do the tweaks. Okay, so that's it. Here we have the uh, technician edition. You can also have the free edition which almost have the same functionalities basic functionalities so first of all we need to uh, as you can see here we have the windows tweaks like history internet explorer windows explorer or the system so uh, like history cookies I recently typed urls forms you can also delete uh, saved passwords but we'll keep it as we may need them also we have the system tweaks empty recycle bin remove temporary files the clipboard memory dumps all these are useful you can also check windows error reporting dns cache font cache desktop shortcuts etc uh, here we have the advanced which is advised not to uh, uh, check any of them just keep as they are here the last option we have wipe free space this will wipe your uh, hard disk spaces free space but it will take uh, considerable time so it's better not to check it or to do this task uh, once a while next we have the application your application which are installed you can uh, clean them or tweak them in uh, third party uh, applications like software google chrome applications like microsoft just clean internet multimedia etc so next we have the second tab which is the registry this will help in the boot up and the start up of your uh, machine uh, just check all the functionalities in order to uh, clean them and tweak them Furthermore, we have number three, which you have the uninstall functionalities. You can just select one application and uninstall it if you no longer need them. So it is recommended that you leave all or you uninstall. It is recommended that you uninstall any application you don't uh, use anymore. Next, we have the startup. This will boost your startup. Uh, functionalities so enabled or not you just select you just change from yes to now enable or disable schedule tasks other be for example flash player update you can disable it next we have the context menu which you can make some application appear in your context menu or not so. That's it. Browser plugins. The plugins in your 
next we have the disk analyzer duplicate finder you can search for duplicates and the system restore the last option is the uh, wiper that we have seen wipes the free space in your uh, application on your machine in order to make your windows run blazingly without any uh, problems and start in uh, no time so just use these two functionalities and almost the same uh, default options checked so let's first uh, analyze check how much storage could we recover so this will delete temporary files recycle bin www.rackmedia.com your internet files cookies history etc so just wait for it to uh, generate a report on how much storage can you get back www.rackmedia.com So it uh, may take a long period of time if this is your first time in uh, cleaning your machine or if you have not cleaned it for a period of time. So as you can see it is progressing, Windows error reporting now and doing a great job as it is checking most of the files to make sure that your uh, machine will work perfectly without any hassles. Okay, as you can see here we have 16 gigabytes of storage that we need to remove yeah, and this is huge huge files and you have the detailed reports you can just check them one by one what we need to do next is to uh, click on the second button run sys cleaner which is to delete all this files if you are happy with uh, some of them if not you can just go back and uncheck any of the uh, files you want to keep okay it's okay then clean a message will appear which will ask you whether to proceed because these files will cannot be recovered or uh, will be permanently deleted from your system so you just if you do not want to uh, show this message just check this box here otherwise you click on ok and the system uh, and the software will clean all these files that we have seen the 16 gigabytes will go back to your drive And of course your uh, browsers as we see uh, like Firefox or Chrome or Internet Explorer will run fast uh, and will also start up uh, in no time. Great, so 16 gigabytes are out of our drive, we are happy with this. Now we need to proceed with the second option which is the registry, this will help your uh, machine run smoother and start up uh, in our time. So let's scan for issues concerning the registry. These are system files with which syscleaner will check them and delete any of these systems which are no longer used or which are left over by uh, some applications also it includes some uh, invalid firewall rules application issues unused file extension invalid file reference and many other registry files what we need to do next is just to fix selected issues we have selected all of them you can uh, unselect or uncheck any uh, once you want to keep it will ask you to uh, backup changes to the register you can have a, a backup file to recover them later if your system will uh, face some problems or if you, ha you have problems in uh, starting some application you can recover or go back to this <coughs> you can recover your registry files and keep them and get them back into uh, and get them back again without any problems 
here we don't want to make a backup as you can see most of these registers are unused so now you can fix issue by issue and this will help you read the issues and decide whether you want to delete it or not or you can fix all the issues along so we uh, if you trust the software then you can just fix all and most of the time uh, the software uh, selects what is best for system optimization so let's just fix all selected issues and that's it it's done in one click and your system has recovered let's check again now if there are any more optimizations we can do yes there are still some other extensions same now fix all issues is great let's check again so you repeat the same operation until the uh, software finds no issue great that's it as you can see no issues is were found and here we are done so our system now will boot faster and will have a better and smoother run besides your application will also work uh, perfectly without any issues or uh, problems hope this tutorial have helped you fix and run your uh, machine faster smoother and uh, optimized your experience peace thank you for watching if you like this video do consider sharing it click on the like button and go ahead and leave us a comment below we'd love to hear from you and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and the notifications to get the latest tutorials that will inspire empower and connect you www.rackmedia.com Bye for now, see you next video.